In this video, we're going to make a, a folded, wrinkled flag, much like this one in Photoshop, except it's going to be better than this. Okay, so I'm just going to redo a couple things. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to Image, Mode, and then RGB Color, just to get it out of indexed. And go Layer from Background, and we've got a good canvas to start with. So you're going to need this folded cotton image. So you can download it by clicking in the little link over there, and it's by Secret Chic or something like that on Devinard. Sorry if I butchered your name. Go back to your cotton and go up to Image, Mode, Grayscale. Click OK. Then go to Save As, and just name it whatever. Format's going to be Photoshop. It has to be Photoshopped or it's not going to work. And click OK or save and there we go. Now go to your flag, go up to filter, distort, and then displace. And I'm gonna make my scale about 85. I used 65 before and it didn't quite look that great, but you can play around with the value. Click OK and it, you can see it's messed up the image. Now go to your eyedropper click the red or whatever color now go to your pencil or brush tool hard edge brush like this make it bigger with the right curly bracket and just um, fill in the red that got turned into black and I'm gonna do the same thing with the white so now the image is fairly well cleaned up so you can go up to Filter, Noise, and then Reduce Noise, and that's going to take away uh, kind of the noise around the edges you can see uh, of the maple leaf and stuff. And I'm going to put my settings in the sidebar so you can copy them. And I'm going to do this twice more, but I'm going to speed it up just so you don't have to wait through it. Okay, so that looks pretty smooth, except for one thing. You can see if we zoom in by hitting Command or Control Plus, that there's all kinds of um, gray stuff around the edge. That's really simple to fix. Make a new layer, bring it below your flag, press Alt or Option, and then delete or backspace. That should fill it with white. If it fills it with red or something, just change your foreground color to white. Now go to your Magic Eraser. I got my tolerance at 50, but you can play around with this. And just click the gray. And it's going to disappear. So the gray is gone. If I zoom out, it looks pretty good. Except for one thing. Doesn't really look folded. That's simple to fix. Go to your cotton layer, press Command or Control A. That'll select it all. And then Command or Control C to copy. And Press Command or Control V to paste. And I'll zoom out. And all you need to do to pull off this effect is change the blend mode to multiply. And it's done. So, that is how to make a folded flag in Photoshop. And some tips are you might want to maybe go into your. Um, flag layer and burn some stuff with the burn tool to give it more definition. Um, that was a bit too much, but whatever. And um, on the scale, levels in the displace dialog box, you can kind of mess around with those. Maybe try like 90 or 100, and that'll um, make the image really conform into the folds and the different levels of light in the um, cloth image. So if you like this video, please comment or rate it, and if you like my channel, please check it out and subscribe. And remember, I do take requests for tutorials. Thanks for watching.